every two weeks, and it's uh, it's really rough. But um, like that's not even the worst part. Uh, my car it started like violently rattling underneath about two weeks ago. And that's all anybody who's gotten in my car for the last two weeks has mentioned to me. And I'm like, good, keep bringing it up. Because like, it's one of those sounds that you start to ignore. And like, if somebody ever gets in my car and they're like, oh, she sounded good today, real smooth. And I'm like, shit, something fell off. <laughs> we got to go back. This rattling is like, I get in, turn it on. My car's like, I'm like, all right, good, everything's here. We can hit the road. It's safe. Um, yeah, I like, uh, I like weed, <laughs> who does yeah. and, um, and I'm sure all of you guys have heard that uh, marijuana is now legal in the good and fair state of Colorado, and um, I was thinking, how tragically hilarious is it going to be when there's that first fire at a dispensary? <laughs> Because you want to go. You want to go and stand down wind. <laughs> but you'd get there and be like, oh, sh I forgot my bucket at home. I guess it can't help. Okay. But uh, I, think it, I think it really would be bad. Because you know, you got like the firefighters there and they're trying to put it out and they're standing in front and they're like, Shit, we didn't even put it in the hydrant. Oh, God damn it. I'm not dragging their people in there. This bad, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's like 10 feet away. You got like the people inside. They're like, oh no, we got to go. Get shit, the Doritos. Get the Doritos. Oh, they're cool ranch. They'll, they'll help beat the flames. Uh, speaking of weed, I went to Walmart the other day. And, um, and I was like, why... Um, why do they have guns at Walmart? That just seems like like the last place that they should be selling firearms. Because Walmart, in my personal opinion, seems like a breeding ground for like bad life decisions. <laughs> like, I've never gone into Walmart and walk out being like, well, I feel like a better person. That's uh, <laughs> that was a beneficial trip to Walmart. Those words have never been said. But like, they don't need it. Is that on everybody's shopping list? Is somebody like at their house and they're like, oh, we need some peas and carrots for dinner? Um, well, I'll just get some toilet paper to be safe. And, uh, Honey, do you still want me to pick up those guns? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some 12 gauges? How many? Four? No, I'm not going to get four. I'm going to get three. The kids can share. <laughs> but they won't. No. It's a gun. Somebody's gonna win. <laughs> on the top. On the top. Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna. That's a, that might be my new punchline. Thanks, guys. Um, sad clowns. It seems redundant. Like, have you ever seen a clown that's not in their mid fifties? They're all sad. <laughs> It's like, it's like saying rapey clown, like it's implied. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was watching uh, TV the other day, and uh, there's a commercial on, and it was, um, I'm not sure the lady who does it, but it's like she's like the Sarah McLaughlin of starving African children. <laughs> and oh, it, it gets funny, don't worry. <laughs> and, um, and she was on, and all, like the, I think it's a great cause, but I think they're going about it all wrong, because she said, what would you do if there was a starving child standing in front of you and all you have to do is reach in, into your pocket and take out five cents to save that child's life? But like he's standing right in front of me, like, get in kid, I'll make you a sandwich quick. <laughs> you know, it's hot out here, let's get you some agua. Uh, I'm gonna end on this one. Um, I was at work. Uh, about a month ago, kind of done that since. And, uh, <laughs> and it was right around the time Philip Seymour Hoffman died. And a lady I was working with told me uh, he died from a bad batch of heroin. Yeah. I think you just mean heroin. <laughs> They're all bad batches. Like, you're not making cookies. You can leave the whole house in the oven a little too long. 
Grandma didn't used to make the best dope, refused to write down the recipe, and then died. <laughs> and now you invite all your friends over, and you're like, yeah, try our heroin. It's good, but it's not like Grandma good. <laughs> she made the best. She made it with love. <laughs> Better place now because of that kind of <laughs> um, All right, I've been Jake Carney. You guys are great.